problems and Newton's laws of motion. An object of mass 100 kg is accelerated uniformly from a velocity of 5 meters per second to 8 meter per second in 6 seconds. Calculate the initial and final momentum of the object. Also, find the magnitude of the force exerted on the object. So now we know it's a pretty simple problem. So we will say the given data is the mass of the object m is 100 kg and it has an initial velocity u 5 meter per second and final velocity v as 8 meters per second and this change of velocity took place in a time t 6 seconds. Now we need to find the momentum. We know the momentum is defined as p is equal to mass into velocity of the object. Now in this case let us see the initial momentum pu is equal to m into u. So mass is the same 100 into u is 5 so 500 kg meter per second. And now the final momentum, which is, let us say, PV, which is also M into V, which is 100, is M, and V is 8, so 800 kg meter per second. So the initial momentum is 500, and final momentum is 800 kg meter per second. Now we need to also find the magnitude of the force exerted. So the force is given as from Newton's second law of motion mass m into a mass into acceleration. We need to find the acceleration in order to get the force exerted. So acceleration we can find from equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t as we have the time and we have u and we have v and v is 8 u is 5 and a into 6 so a is equal to 8 minus 5 by 6 which is 3 by 6 3 1 3 2 so 1 by 2 meter per second square so from this we can find the force hence force is equal to mass is 100 acceleration is 1 by 2 so it is 50 newtons. So the force exerted by the body is 50 newtons. How much momentum will a bell of mass 10 kg transfer to the floor if it falls from a height of 80 centimeter? Take its downward acceleration to be 10 meter per second square. So we understand from this problem that a bell of 10 kg has fallen from a certain height of 80 centimeters and the weight of this bell is 10 kg so mass is 10 kg s is 80 centimeters and the downward acceleration is also given as 10 meter Per second square. Now we need to find out the momentum. So the given data from here is mass of the object which is the bell m is 10 kg and the downward acceleration a is 10 meter per second square and the distance it has traveled yes is 80 centimeter convert it into meter so 80 by 100 4 by 5 meter since 1 meter is 100 centimeter 
So now in order to find out momentum, what we need is velocity. Mass we have, momentum is m into v. So mass into velocity. We know the mass, 10 kg, and velocity we need to find. To find velocity, we have the parameters s and a, acceleration and distance. And also we have one more, which is the initial velocity. It's starting from rest. So u is 0. Hence, we can find final velocity from the law of equation of motion v square minus u square is equal to 2as. Where we need to find v, u is 0, 2 into a is 10, s is 4 by 5. So, 5 ones, 5 twos. So, v square becomes 2 twos, 4, 4 fours, 16, v is 4. Now, taking V as 4, we get the momentum as M is 10, V is 4, meter per second. This is 40 kg meter per second. So, the momentum P experienced by the floor by the falling bell is 40 kg meter per second.